Thank you for inviting me to this meeting. And uh, okay. So this is uh, uh, the uh, National uh, Observatory of Screening. It is an official uh, uh, body for monitoring uh, the screening activity in uh, Italy. Uh, the ONS, sorry, the uh, ONS is uh, uh, funded by the Ministry of Health uh, in Italy and uh, uh, is uh, also sponsored by the Italian League Against Cancer. So the official data to consider uh, about the screening for colorectal cancer, breast cancer, cervical cancer, are data produced uh, by this uh, monitoring uh, uh, unit. Uh, what uh, I will present you is, uh, uh, are the result of this uh, survey on uh, screening activity in 205. And uh, uh, these are uh, the uh, Italian areas where a screening program is running. In, you can see that uh, in uh, most uh, of the areas, uh, the uh, test used uh, is the uh, fecal cold blood test and uh, is uh, offered to the population uh, uh, between 50 and 70 years uh, of age. In uh, some areas, uh, uh, the uh, flexible semidoscopy screening uh, is uh, uh, offered between uh, uh, 58 and 68 age, uh, years of age, and in other uh, areas uh, in Piedmont, uh, four programs uh, are offering both uh, uh, flexible sigmoidoscopy at age 58 and the, uh, hemo uh, the fecal occult blood test uh, in uh, uh, people uh, uh, older than 58 that was not yet invited uh, to sigmoidoscopy. And uh, from this point of view, uh, there is also the option uh, of uh, uh, FOBT if someone refused the, the uh, invitation to semidoscopy. And this option is uh, always uh, open. The uh, fecal cold blood test used is the uh, immunological test, immunodia produced by Fuji Radio. And there is, uh, uh, in all these uh, areas, uh, an automatic uh, reading in a central uh, laboratory. The sample is a, uh, a unique sample without uh, any dietary restriction. Uh, the uh, progress uh, of uh, the screening programs is uh, uh, quite fast. Uh, indeed, uh, in, in 2004, uh, the people uh, living in uh, areas where uh, a screening program, an organized screening program was running, were about 1 million. And uh, in 2005, uh, the number of uh, people living in areas where a screening program started was about 4.7 million, mainly in North Italy compared to Central and Southern Italy. Uh, overall, there are 52 programs running in Italy with this distribution by region uh, with the immunological FOBT that uh, I mentioned before. And uh, there are uh, six uh, screening programs using uh, uh, flexible semidoscopy. And uh, as I said, uh, four uh, are also a program where uh, uh, FOBT is uh, offered to people who refuse uh, flexible semidoscopy. Uh, overall, uh, in 205, uh, to FOBT were uh, uh, invited uh, uh, around uh, 827,000 people and uh, 376,000 comply 
with uh, compliance, with a participation of uh, 47%. These are the different uh, uh, rate of uh, uh, attendance by region. And uh, as you can see, there are a, a lot of uh, differences. Uh, in uh, Veneto, we have, uh, in some programs, uh, a very uh, good uh, participation. Uh, you can see that most, uh, uh, many of programs are uh, uh, around 60-70% uh, of participation. In uh, southern uh, and central Italy, the participation is still low, but we have to take into account, as you said before, that uh, uh, most of the programs start in 205, so this is uh, just uh, the beginning of uh, this activity for uh, those uh, programs. This is uh, the uh, uh, participation adjusted by uh, age, um, show by, uh, by age and uh, uh, gender, uh, according to the first uh, uh, invitation to screening, this one, or the subsequent invitation to second or third screening. Uh, we have, uh, for the first invitation, the uh, group between uh, 55 and 59 years of age who uh, uh, is attending uh, more than the other uh, age groups between 55 for uh, women and 50 for men, and then there is a decrease in the older age groups. And the subsequent test uh, has, a, uh, has expected an higher uh, participation around 75% uh, overall. Uh, the positivity rate to FOBT is 5.8% uh, with this variation according to different uh, regions. And uh, uh, if we analyze by age groups uh, and gender, we have uh, an uh, increase of positivity rate for uh, men uh, at the first screening between 5% and 10%. And uh, at the subsequent screening episodes, we have uh, uh, between 3.6 and 6.8% positivity rate. The rates are lower for uh, women uh, in uh, first uh, and subsequent screening. In all uh, cases, uh, the positivity rate is increasing by, by age. Uh, when uh, a person is positive to FOBT, is referred to colonoscopy, and uh, overall, uh, the attendance rate of colonoscopy was uh, among these 370,000 people around 82%, with some regions with uh, a too low participation, uh, attendance rate to colonoscopy. Uh, about the detection rates, uh, we have uh, for uh, uh, males a detection rate of uh, cancer about five per thousand at the first screening and two per thousand at the subsequent screening. And the detection rate of advanced adenomas was around 22 per thousand, 2.2 percent at the first and half 10 per thousand at the following screening episodes. For women, uh, the uh, trend was similar, but the difference is uh, uh, a lower, a much lower a detection rate for cancer adenomas, both in the first exam and in repeated exams. Uh, okay, here we have the, the for for males uh, the the uh, increase of detection rate of uh, advanced adenomas and the carcinomas, and uh, uh, the same figure in a different scale are presented for, uh, for women. Uh, so we can observe uh, a detection rate of cancer ranges 
between 0.8 per thousand in youngest age group up to uh, 4.6 per thousand in the uh, age group 60 to 64. Uh, we have a, a, a quite high positive predictive value uh, in spite of a relatively high uh, recall rate, positivity rate to FBT. Uh, overall, you can see that uh, here we have a, a, a predictive value of 40% uh, putting together advanced adenomas and cancers in uh, uh, first exam and still 25% uh, in the subsequent rounds, uh, we have uh, uh, these figures as a, a predictive value. So when people refer to colonoscopy out of four at uh, this repeated exam has a, or a carcinoma or advanced uh, adenomas. These are the figures by age. In some age group, you have a, a even a higher uh, uh, predict the value for cancer or adenomas. The, uh, here we have uh, the distribution of time by sending a, a negative report. And uh, in Italy, uh, in this uh, population, uh, you can see that we have 90% uh, of uh, uh, answer of negative uh, FBT test uh, that is sent uh, within 30 days. Uh, the colonoscopy, the interval between a positive uh, uh, test and the colonoscopy is uh, not so good. Uh, in fact, uh, people who had, uh, let's say, a colonoscopy in within two months after a positive exam is overall 80%. Some result about sigmoidoscopy. Uh, here we have uh, uh, a detection rate uh, of a carcinoma that is around the three per thousand uh, overall, and uh, a much higher detection rate of advanced adenomas that is uh, five per thousand, uh, 48 to 50 per thousand, five percent. Uh, and uh, uh, the overall uh, uh, referral rate uh, to uh, colonoscopy uh, was uh, uh, around uh, uh, 6%. I can skip it. So uh, the uh, attendance to colonoscopy uh, was, uh, as I said before, 82% uh, in the FOBT screening group and 92% uh, uh, in uh, uh, FS uh, uh, screening group when in the distal bowel uh, a polyps larger than one centimeter or with a villus component uh, uh, higher than 20% of a severe dysplasia of multiple uh, adenomas were, were found. Uh, this is, uh, I think, a, a, a very uh, promising result when we look at stage distribution of, uh, of a cancer. Uh, because uh, we have uh, for stage one uh, an overall result of 55% uh, of uh, cancer uh, in stage one. 50% uh, uh, were uh, uh, cancer that uh, were detected as malignant adenomas, but especially treated by endoscopic excision uh, only. Uh, when you compare this 55% to the data in a, a region of uh, Emilia, uh, the uh, this, uh, proportion of stage one in the symptomatic population was uh, around 20%. Uh, so uh, a shift for the early stages uh, is uh, promising. It's not uh, uh, certainly the, the, the uh, definitive evidence, but is very promising in this uh, in this direction, and uh, I think that I stop here. Thank you.